One of the reasons why I love living in Fresno is because we have some pretty cool stuff in our backyard like Pismo Beach is two and a half hours away, Shaver Lake is like an hour away, and a national park is only two and a half hours away. And that's where we're going today. We are going to Yosemite National Park for my birthday because I want to take some really good pictures um, and I just want to relax and smell some really fresh air. So we're going to Yosemite. Let's go. So we're at uh, Food Max right now because we got to pick up some stuff before we head out. And something I was thinking about is pretty interesting is probably half a million people that live in Fresno and I would say three-fourths of them have never been to Yosemite National Park. And it's right in our backyard. And I'm one of those people. So today's my birthday so I figured hey, go to Yosemite National Park. It sounds fun. Those muscles. Get these muscles, Mom. Okay. So now we got water, we got some snacks, and now we are on our way to Yosemite. So we just got into Yosemite National Park right now and that was just the gate. To, uh, it takes about it takes about an hour to get into um, Yosemite National Park from Fresno, which is not bad to get some good fresh air. It's only an hour away. Um, but I didn't know this. So you pay $35 to get in for, for a private vehicle. Now, this right here is our receipt it's valid for seven days. So that means we can come back tomorrow and not pay an entrance fee? They said just keep the receipt with you. I don't know. That's, I, I, I don't know either, but um, let me see. Entrance fee valid through 927. Yeah, so we are going home after this, but that means we can come back tomorrow if we want to and not pay an entrance fee. Whoa, <laughs> my wife's on the median. <laughs> But that's pretty cool. We didn't know that. Now we know. Hey, we, we might come back. Cause yeah, because we're I, only I, spending like two hours up here tonight. Yeah, so. so we might come back tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday and I have the day off Sunday. So who knows? That would be fun. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, the, that was the entrance to Yosemite National Park. What we're doing now is we are uh, driving to Yosemite uh, Valley. That's where you can see um, Half Dome, Yosemite Falls, and El, El, Cap, El Capitan or El Captain. Um, I don't know, there, there's, there's quite a few stuff that, that, that we're gonna see, so it's gonna be fun. But we, we still have about an hour to get to Yosemite Valley, I believe. And we're only 3,000 feet elevation. Right and we're now. only in 3,000 feet elevation right now, so it's gonna be a good time. Because some people get elevation sickness. Did you know that? Did not know that. Stop 
I've been out of the car for a little bit already. I just had to go, go back to the car to get my mic. But we came across this beautiful creek right here. And I took a few pictures. I'll, I'll try to figure out how to put the picture um, inside of the video. I don't know how to do that yet, but... Um, let me just show you how gorgeous this is. And this is just one place. This is just one place of this beautiful area. I'm actually going to take you guys down there to to look at it uh, with me and what's interesting is that when we parked there is like there is three guys down here and they were all taking pictures so I just started talking to them and turns out they're actually from Las Vegas and they're traveling and whatnot and they came to Yosemite National Park which kind of re-solidifies what I've been talking about or, or what I mentioned earlier is that this is right in our backyard for, the, for those of you that live in Fresno. This only took me two hours to get here. People are coming from everywhere to see this beautiful place and take pictures. And it's so accessible to us and yet nobody from Fresno really comes out here. Um, I'm one of those people and... Hey, what do you call the uh, the Harry Potter um, the vines that try to eat them? This looks like that devil snare. It's not yes, it is, baby. Oh, 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 oh! oh. What? No, it is Sorcerer's Stone. Cause, cause they had to play the chess, remember? Yeah, I they had to play. The no, it's me, it's. Not Hermione. You. There it is. Not me. Not Hermione. You. Traffic is actually moving now, and I gotta make sure I don't miss my ride because my wife is in the line waiting for me. Oh, she's back there. She's right. She's right there. She's coming. I'm glad I'm keeping an eye out because traffic's moving. Okay, so. I'm over here walking all loud and my wife turns around and she's like, babe, be quiet. Here's why. Look at this. Look how close we are to him. He's like right there.
There's actually seven people for six slots, so we don't actually have that. So you guys can see Half Dome right there. It's really pretty because oh, no. the yeah the Half Dome is like reflecting off the water. This little oh, creek right here, and it's picture. right in the middle. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, if you guys are in Yosemite, you guys have to stop at this bridge, especially at this time. What time is it right now? Uh, seven. What time is it? It's around seven o'clock sunset. Six thirty-four. Six thirty-four. So around six thirty-four, six twenty. Come right here because Half Dome is like glistening back there. So beautiful. Check it out. Look at all these people here just getting pictures. It's so pretty. Puppy. All right, so we were driving by, and again, it's my first time here, so I had to stop. I jumped out of the car, ran across the street, and came here. Now my wife is waiting for me somewhere in this parking lot. I don't know where. I feel like an amateur. There's so many people that have really good, um, really good cameras and really good lenses and all kinds of different stuff, and I have this, you know, kit lens that's not doing much to show Yosemite's beauty. But nonetheless, you guys get to see. Let's jaywalk. Uh, getting out of the city and being able to see something beautiful like this that's right in our backyard uh, that's so calming and relaxing it's amazing you know it's amazing so I'm very thankful that I chose to come to Yosemite today because it's beautiful beautiful getting back in my car now Alright guys, so that is the end of the trip to Yosemite. It's been a lot of fun here. Got to see um, Half Dome from from far away, but um, we got to see it and got to see a few creeks, got to see some deer, some more, you know, some of those deers had really big horns and I've never been that close to a wild one, you know, and they were so comfortable coming up to us uh, when we were just standing there. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So since we have a seven day pass, we're coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow we might bring a friend with us. Um, bring Jasmine and Paul. No, they have a kid, huh? We can't, Baby we can't Paul. fit all of them That's to right. get the same day pass. Well, we might, might bring someone tomorrow. We're not sure just to uh, share the experience with because it's a lot of fun. It's only two and a half hours away from Fresno. So yeah, if you guys live in Fresno, come check it out and if you don't live in Fresno, I'm, I'm sure it's probably on your bucket list uh, to come check this place out. It's a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do that one more time. Did I do guys, look at this view real quick. This shows you why so many people come from different states and countries just to experience this national park. Look how beautiful this is back here.
I'm assuming this right here is like a replica. Go ahead, you're fine. You're okay. No, you're okay. <laughs> I'm assuming this is like a replica of what we're looking at right here. All through there. So it looks pretty cool. It's awesome. Something I want to mention, you know, walking through these crowds of people and you hear all these different you hear all these different accents, you hear all these different languages and stuff, and you realize that people are coming from everywhere to visit this national park that's right in our backyard. So I just telling everybody, if you live in Fresno, Clovis, or you live close in the Central Valley, man, get out here. People are coming from everywhere to see this place and we take advantage of it and it's gorgeous. Coming back tomorrow, that's that's on the rizzle, homie. We coming back tomorrow, son.